It's an absolutely gorgeous day out there today. I should tell you a little bit about the view you're looking at actually. Um, the hills in the background are the North Downs and um, we're within the Surrey Hills area of outstanding natural beauty so um, you can really see why it was called that can't you? <laughs> it's absolutely astonishing to me that I have a view like this from my kitchen window but um, we're incredibly lucky to live here and um, I need to tell you the story of the house and how we are living in such an amazing place. Um, I'll cover that in another vlog perhaps. But this is also the view I have from my studio because they're on the same side of the house. I'm going to be working on today is this birdstone and um, the stage is at at the moment I've basically just drawn the outline and filled the shape in with two coats of black acrylic paint the next thing to do will be to add the white details with acrylic ink like I've done on this little hedgehog here and also on the fox and the owl over here I really love adding the details, it's my favourite part because you start to see the real character of the creatures coming through. A question I'm frequently asked on Instagram is which types of paint do I use for the stones and slate and I'm going to share a couple of my favourites with you now. One of my favourite paints to use for the stones is Windsor & Newton Galleria Acrylic. I have a really large tub of this because I use so much black in my work and it's the most economical way of buying it. But you can get small tubes and they're relatively inexpensive. There are many different types of acrylic paint available and um, as long as it's something fairly free flowing and isn't too thick, you don't want to leave brush marks, you want a nice smooth finish. So. Even something like this from Hobbycraft, I picked this up there and it was very inexpensive. So just maybe to start with, buy something that's not too pricey and just experiment and see whether it suits your way of painting. Most of the white details in my work are painted with this ink. It's De La Rowney FW Acrylic Ink and it's by far the best thing i found for painting on stones. I find I can get a really fine finish with lots of detail. For painting on the stones I always use these brushes. They're Pro Art Pro Lean Series 101 and um, I use a number 3 for the larger areas and a tiny 3-0 for the small details. As you can see I've started painting her details now and I usually start with the eye and beak. I don't really know why this is, I guess you could start anywhere but um, I kind of feel it gives her some character and then the rest just follows on from there. So I'll continue to work on her patterns and her feathers and I'll show you the progress in a little while. completely finished with her fancy feathers, looking beautiful and ready to go in the shop and possibly off to her new home soon, wherever that may be. 